Our today's lesson is about solid figures and its features. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to visualize and describe the different solid figure, cube, prism, pyramid, cylinder, cone, and sphere. Different shades, solid figures from plain figures and identifies the faces of a solid figure. Hello! In this lesson, we will study and learn about geometrical concepts and describe the things around us. We will visualize and describe illustrations of different figures and discover the geometry in some objects. Furthermore, we will also discuss the concept of different solid figures and its common characteristics. A boy was asked to clean his bedroom and found the following objects. From the items he found, let us classify the following objects based on its geometrical features. Let us identify the objects inside the boy's room. The boy found a bed, a toy traffic cone, a dice, a soccer ball, a coin bank, and figurine. What shapes can you see from these objects? We can see rectangles from the picture of the bed. Triangles from the toy traffic cone and figurine. The ball is shaped like a circle while the coin bank has two circles for its bases. The dice is represented by a square. Note that rectangles, squares, circles, and triangles are plane figures. The figure above are example of real solid figures. Let us differentiate plane figures and solid figures. Observe this example below. So we have here plane figures with two dimensional shape, flat, has length and width. On the other side, we have solid figures with three dimensional shapes, thickness and depth has length, width, and height. Observe that pictures from the left side are flat. These figures have no thickness. These are called two-dimensional shapes or plain figures because it only has the length and the width. It can be composed of straight lines curved line or both straight and curved lines. The pictures on the right side are figures which do not line flat on a plane. Space figures are often referred to as solids. These solid figures have three dimensions, length, width, and height or thickness. The flat surfaces of a solid figure are its spaces. Remember that solid figures have polygons as spaces. The base is the face on which the figure rests. The edge of a solid figure is the line segment where two faces meet. A vertex, plural vertices, is the corner that is formed where the end of the line segments of two or more faces meet. Specifically, you can observe the numbers of faces, edges, and vertices as well as the shapes of the base. A sphere has a curved surface on which every point is equidistant from the center. While rectangular prism has six rectangles for its outside surface. Each surface is called a face. Each sphere of faces intersect outside in an edge. The next one is a cone. 
has a circle for the base and a curved surface that comes to a point. A cylinder has two equal and parallel circle as bases and a lateral curved surface while pyramid has a base of any polygon and triangular faces that meet in a common vertex square pyramid has a square for its base a cube or a square prism has six squares for its bases all the edges are equal in length it has eight vertices and 12 edges and triangular prism has the rectangular and two triangular faces. For our learning task number one, is it a plane or solid figure? Fill in the table below. Draw the object to its corresponding group. Do this on your notebook. So we have here two column. The first column under flame figures you will draw all possible flame figures and the right side the solid figure you will draw all solid figures in that column for our learning task number two identify the following figures in circle the correct name of the solid figure in the first row our choices, we have cube, cylinder, and pyramid. Second row, rectangular prism, sphere, square, and pyramid. For the third figure, cone, triangular prism, cylinder. Fourth, rectangular prism, pyramid, cone. Pip, cube, pyramid, spear. Next, triangular prism, sphere, and cube. And the last one, we have cone, cube, and cylinder. And that is the end of our first part of the lesson. See you in part 